Mount Shasta has a collection of odd, strange, weird, and mysterious legends that make it one of the world's most mystical places. Believed by many to be one of the sacred places found on Earth and called by some the Magical Mountain, Majestic Mount Shasta rises up from the Cascade Mountain Range in Northern California. It's located in Siskiyou County with a height of over 14,162 feet above sea level. Shasta ranks as one of the largest dormant stratocompound volcanoes. It's part of the Pacific Ring of Fire, continental United States. Considered semi-quiescent at present, during the last 10,000 years, Mount Shasta has erupted an average of every 800 years. Geologically, as a volcanic mountain, Shasta is very mysterious, having four overlapping stratovolcanic cones, not the usual two. Legends and mysteries abound about the ethereal aura felt and seen by some who have trekked near and around and on the natural wonder. Native people have always held the mountain as a sacred area. In recent decades, New Age believers see the mountain as having mystical power that exudes peace and harmony. UFO proponents believe a secret alien base is located deep within the mountain. In 1985, Mount Shasta Ski Park opened, allowing it to be a revered spot for those avid snow bunnies that love swishing down the challenging, craggy, snow-covered terrain during the winter. Artifacts found on and around the mountain, especially on the north side, indicated it's been inhabited for centuries. 9,000 years at least, it's believed, by various North American native tribes. The mountain is a natural boundary cornerstone that delineated the tribal territory of many native people, including Shasta, Owangchu, Modoc, Achomawai, Atsugi, Karuk, Klamath, Wintu, and Yana tribes. Legends indicate ancient tribes believe Mount Shasta was the center of creation. Native American descendants of ancient tribes still carry out rituals in honor of the mount and the spiritual power it is believed to emanate. The name Mount Shasta is said to be a modern-day derivative of the name the Native American tribe who first called the mountain Shaste. It can be found in the December 1826 journal entry of the Hudson Bay Company Fur Brigade leader Peter Erskine Ogden. Today, over 100 New Age sects and religious groups regard the mountain as a sacred source of mystical power, which can lead people to harmony and peace. Mount Shasta has been identified by many of these as being a cosmic power point, UFO landing spot, or even an entry point into the fifth dimension, or a parallel Earth. But the mountain has been a focal point for religious and spiritual friends sex for many decades. In 1884, writer and seeker Frederick Oliver wrote a book, Dweller on Two Planets, that told of underground tunnels and elaborate halls where the descendants of the Atlanteans live. According to legend, J.C. Brown was a British prospector who discovered the lost underground city beneath Mount Shasta in 1904. Brown had been hired by the Lord Cowdery Mining Company of New England to prospect for gold and discovered a cave, which sloped downward for 11 miles. In the cave, he found an underground village filled with golden shields, mummies, some being up to 10 feet tall. Thirty years later, when he told the story to John C. Root, who proceeded to gather an exploration team in Stockton, California. More than 80 people joined the team, but the day the team was to set out, Brown did not show up and was never heard from again. 
1930, Guy Ballard, founder of the I Am movement, stated that he met an ascended master, St. Germain, on the snowy slopes of Mount Shasta. Ascended masters are supposed to be extremely evolved spiritual beings that lived in the deep earth city Lemurians called Talos. Earlier, the Rosicrucians spread the belief that Mount Shasta was the place the Lemurians came to when their island was destroyed by volcanic activity. Many believe their remnants still live deep within the sacred mountain. Even today, partially because Mount Shasta is considered one of the seven sacred mountains of the world, it became a site for holy temples, sanctuaries, and other sacred places of meditation. A Buddhist monastery was built on Mount Shasta in 1971. In 1978, Mount Shasta was the place where the harmonic convergence was supposed to occur. This was the focal point of positive power energy rays coming together in order to prevent a world crisis and bring world peace to humanity. In 1931, a voracious forest fire swept across Mount Shasta, only to be stopped from advancing by a mysterious fog that arose from nowhere. Interestingly, this unusual fog created a fire line and the demarcation of the charge damaged was curved in direct correlation with the central time zone line. Many Bigfoot sightings have been reported on Mount Shasta, and it is believed to be the hiding place home of these perhaps mythical creatures. It's also said to be a UFO refueling base. Many strange pulsating lights and squadrons of dancing lights have been reported over the past decades by some very credible witnesses. The Hoopa Native Americans of legends of a vast network of caves and a city under Mount Shasta where reptilian creatures live. A modern, strange, true story of a three-year-old child that was lost in Shasta Forest for five hours is just one of the many strange things that have happened. He was gone within a second, according to witnesses. Other campers were thought responsible and questioned, but later that day the boy reappeared and told the story not of this earth. He claimed he was abducted by a robot double of his grandmother and taken to a cave filled with spiders. The region surrounding Mount Shasta does contain thousands of caves, a vast majority of which have never been explored. Sometimes people claimed a venture into these subterranean regions voluntarily other times not so voluntarily. In fact, stories like this extend even further back into history. Native American tribes still have inhabited this region for thousands of years. They talk of being able to travel underground tunnels between southern Oregon, Mount Shasta, and the upper coasts of California. Some tribes have admitted that the locations and entrances of these tunnels are closely guarded secret which has never been shared with the outside world. Coincidentally, two more bizarre incidents happened around Mount Shasta during the time period of the boy's disappearance in 2011. In the same month of September, a Los Angeles area man hiking Pacific Crest Trail heard a beautiful singing of a female voice coming from the direction of Mount Shasta and wandered off the trail to follow it, becoming lost in the woods. He claims he was abducted and taken to a dark chamber in a cave and stripped of all his gear. A tall female with unnatural blue eyes and strange clothing appeared and gave him a gift and secret information. He was reportedly lost several weeks and after surviving this ordeal, the person now believes he is the incarnation of the Masonic Hindu god and he's even changed his name to Lord Kalki. Another Los Angeles area man was with a spiritual group of friends meditating up on the mountain on 11-11-2011 and decided to take off his shoes, hiked up to the top of the mountain to place a rock on the summit. A storm blew in, delaying search efforts, and his body was found the next day at 9,600 feet. New Age believers See Mount Shasta as one of the Earth's main spiritual energy vortices. It's a place of strange fog, 
and clouds that appear and disappear within moments, not hours of human time, leaving people amazed. And then, on spiritual retreats to the mountain energized many visitors, especially seekers, open to experiencing synergistic transrational adventures, even believe it is a place of angel gatherings. Many people living around Mount Shasta tell tales of tall, robed, humanoid people who appear from time to time in the small towns. They come to barter or gather certain things from various merchants, and then they vanish into the thick brush of the mountain. Another legend tells of groups called Octavians, who are reported to be great bell makers, and through their use of sound and vibration, they can manipulate many aspects of life and dimensions of sensory perceptions. Other stories tell of dwarf-like creatures that have been seen quite often since the 1930s by people picnicking and hiking on the mountain. Mount Shasta has a plethora of odd, strange, weird, and mysterious legends which make it one of the world's most mystical places. If only a small percentage of these stories are rooted in fact and should have verifiable evidence which makes it plausible, what a remarkable finding that would be.